Okay, so last season we finished second in the league, we lost the League Cup final, and we also lost the Euro Cup final. There is still a very real possibility that we will do better in all three competitions this season. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Jochen aka Leo Demus and welcome to part 35 already of Stuttgart über alles. In this FM21 series I try to transform a VfB Stuttgart in Germany from a newly promoted Bundesliga club into a European giant. If you are enjoying the series so far or if you are new to the channel and this is the kind of content you are looking for, feel free to show me some support by liking the video and by subscribing to my channel Whack on that notification button so we can keep doing this adventure together. Since you were last here, which was the awesome game against St. Anne's and Petersburg, we have done amazing. We have won every single game we have played in the league, in the cup and in the Euro Cup because we have also beaten Inter Milan against every odd in the history of odds at their place, mind you. And look at these match stats, man. We were kind of outclassed, well, that's maybe a little over-exaggerated, but 15 shots versus 6, um, XG, yeah. Clear-cut chances, we had won and scored twice, which is awesome. They had more possession, but it's still quite even, I guess. Uh, safe to say, I kind of expected to be blown away and bulldozered over, especially in Milan. But that was not the case, although my fellow Belgian, of course, the beast himself, Mr. Lukaku, scored in the 8th minute and then I was like, yeah, this is about the end of our third, no, our second, I think, Euro Cup adventure. Maybe third, I'm not sure. Um, but it wasn't, because then Arenzo in the 19th minute and Mr. Olsen himself, one of our, he's not an official wonder kid, I think, nope, he's a winger, whatever that means these days. He is the inside forward on the right and he scored in the extra time in the 91st minute to give us A, the win, and B, two massively important away goals. So as I mentioned in the intro, we are still in that Euro Cup competition. We are still in the Cup competition because we have beaten Hertha Berlin in the semi-final and we are playing the final against Mainz who are 16th in the Bundesliga. I mean, if we lose this game, which also means that we will lose our third consecutive cup final, I will eat this hat. There, I said it on camera, if we lose this game, I am going to eat this hat, probably with some mayonnaise or whatever, but it's going down. Also in the league, of course, since we have won all our games, it is safe to say, man, that there is a very high probability that we will be crowned champions because we have played 31 games and we have one game in hand on pretty much everyone else except for Hertha Berlin. There are 34 games in total. Um, do the math. If we get one point out of the three games that we have left, we win the title. And that is pretty awesome in our, what season is this? Our fourth? Wait, let's just be sure. One, two, three. Yep, our fourth season at Stuttgart. I'm not gonna promise you that I'm gonna that we'll be crowned champions, but come on, do the math. We will. Sandro Tonali is still the best player as far as average rating goes. Assist-wise, he is our top assist guy with 13. And Ruba Blanco is also still topping the clean sheets list. And of course, the big game in today's episode, the home game, the second leg in the Euro Cup semi-final against Inter Milan. Tactical meeting, please. I am not going to go to defensive, but I am going to do a couple of small tweaks, which we will see in the team selection screen. Because we can't put out our strongest squad, we have two injuries at the moment, Makarov and Damico, but they are both unregistered for the Euro Cup. So that doesn't handicap us that much. We do have a couple of players with a high injury risk at the moment, but by God, Am I going to take that risk? And the only tweaks that I'm going to do to keep it a little bit more defensive as usual 
is go to balanced as a general mentality and put Hannibal Meshbri in a supporting duty just to have him somewhat more present in the actual center of midfield. And that's it. Now, I did set up some opposition instructions for Romelu Lukaku, tighter marking, pressing intensity, and show one to weaker foot. I don't really know if it helps with Lukaku because he is so strong physically that he probably just pushes our defenders around as he pleases. But hey, a man can try. That being said, guys, this is the squad to hopefully get us a place in the Euro Cup final for the second year in a row. Blanco in goal, Sosa, Yurukai, Tuanzebe and Salamakas as our back four. Tonali, Kamara and Hannibal in midfield. Lada and Renier on the wings and lone striker, Mr. Arezzo. A couple of players are still concerned with the formation. That is probably because I have switched the mentality, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll be okay. Go to match. Let's have a look at the Inter squad. And to be honest, when I saw that we were going to play Inter Milan, I thought they had a better team, at least as far as famous players go, because I think for me, it is mainly Barella, Coutinho, Jonathan David and Romelu Lukaku. De Vrij is on the bench, Locatelli is on the bench, Lucas Digne is on the bench. Basically what I'm saying is, I would have expected this to be the juggernaut that they are, for example, now in real life. But I guess that's not really the case. So we have an actual chance of kicking out Inter Milan. Let's go to the dressing room. Let's say pump fists and you deserve to be in the final and I expect you to make it happen. No pressure, guys. Um, boom. Okay. Not too much effect. Let's go to match preview. No interview. Here we are in the Mercedes-Benz Arena. This is a big game, man. Here we go, five minutes in and nothing really is happening. Um, as long as we do not concede an early goal, I have some pretty high hopes, to be honest with you guys. So we are already in minute 20, so this is good. We have more possession, we have more shots, but that doesn't really say it all, of course. Um, but as far as, as, as I'm concerned, it stays exactly like this. And while I'm saying that, we are in minute 40 so okay here we go why is this still here pause game uh is this something got it just click the score first highlight ball gets to yurukai to hannibal sandro tonali come on arezzo Ooh, that was a cheeky ball to leda but leda misses the target first real chance and if I look at the match stats, we are the better team, but still, nil-nil. Come on. Jonathan David now with the ball to continue. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are one nil down. Assist even by Romelu Lukaku. And Jonathan David puts it away in the far corner. This is exactly... This was my second fear. A was to concede an early goal, which we didn't do. And B was to concede a goal just before halftime. Good goal, though. Um, yeah, we're probably going to go to halftime with this. And to be fair, I'm not really sure if it's deserved. If you look at these, if you look at the XG, but it is football manager. I know that. Dressing room, uh, pump fists, and say, let's go for the. This is a great opportunity to show basically everyone that we rock. Come on. First highlight after 47 minutes, uh, Renier to the Salamakas. Muddy Camaro with the ball to Tuan Zebe. Please don't lose it. Okay, Salamakas is out wide on the right wing. Can he get a cross in? He can. Oh, their keeper messes up. And Leda, Eda, Eda, eh, 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 scores, man. Assist by Salamakas. Basically, an assist by the keeper because look at this madness. A pretty decent cross by Salamagas, although, although, Jochen, you're saying blame the keeper, but I'm not really sure. Let's pause game for a minute. Um, okay, we are the better team, as I mentioned. By the way, ooh, the other semi-final between Atalanta and Arsenal. To be fair, I have no idea 
what that previous score was. Let's have a quick look. Okay, they have beaten Atalanta 3-0, so probably if we are kicking out Inter, if we are going to kick out Inter, we are facing Arsenal. That being said, let's praise him, first of all. It's 1-1, but I am going to praise him. Boom. New highlight, a free kick for Coutinho. And he blasts it home. God damn it. And we are three all on aggregate. And this is not good, man. This is not good because we have to score now. So let's go to positive. Well, we don't have to score, but then we go to extra time. And I do not want that because I hate extra time and I hate penalties even more. Come on. Salamakis with the throw in to Renier. Back to Salamakis, who is already booked. Uh, Leda goes out wide. Sosa now to Tonali. Back to Leda. Oh, yes, sir. I always say the more Leda, the better. Because this guy is awesome. I think he was he our transfer record at Stuttgart. Was he 25, 30 million? I'm not even sure anymore. But this is why I am not mad that I brought him to the club, man. Okay, 2 2. The only issue is. If they score now, which they really shouldn't, that would be getting football manager even. But if they score now, we are kicked out because they are through on away goals. So I am going to, should I say calm down? I don't know what to shout at this point. I'm not going to shout anything. I'm just going to make it worse. I am going to go back to balanced. But let's play ball because come on, man. We are by far the better team. We should win this. Renier now with the ball again. We are using the right flank a lot. But I don't mind as long as Salamakas keeps doing this. That's a bad cross. But Sosa keeps it inbound. There he is again. Leda. Cross it, man. Boom. We are probably going to the Euro Cup final. Because Mr. Renier decided that it was time for him to score again. We are 3-2 up after 63 minutes. And, I mean, we are playing some decent football, man. Again, Leda with the beautiful assist and Ranier with the awesome header, man. Oh, how good he is. And same story as, as Leda. How glad I am that I paid some money to get him to Stuttgart. Let's pause game and let's swap Ranier because he's starting to pass out. Let's also go to Cautious. Um, there he is, Renier, and let's get Mr. Olsen on. And that's it for now. Confirm changes, play ball. Almost at the 80 minute mark, and okay, let's first have a look at this highlight, but I am going to swap Tonali. I can do that basically. Boom. Uh, Hakimi with the throw in to continue, gets it back, crosses it, and there is. Whoo, he, he misses it. Lukaku misses a header from basically in the goal. Wow, okay, we are being sieged, but that's okay. They can score once. Okay, pause game. Uh, let's do our final substitution as well, because a couple of guys are starting to die. I am going to swap Leda for Gonzalez. Confirm, play ball, and for the love of humanity, go to very defensive. And let's have a look at this highlight. Also now, first time we see him in action with the yellow shoes. Hannibal, also yellow shoes. Please, oh, boom. Oh, I was going to say, please make sure we get a penalty. But the goal would, would have been equally as good. I think this is it, guys. We are in extra time. Oops. Last highlight of the game without any doubt. Mejbri with the corner. Wow, Sarah with the chance on the 4-2. And now maybe even the equalizer, but to be fair, I don't care. There we go. Nicolo Barella. Um, and to be honest, I don't think Inter deserves a draw out of this game. But I know it's football manager. Blah, blah, blah. Good goal, though. I mean, counterattack. Yes, please. Skip. And as I'm saying that, by the way... We are through to the final and probably face Arsenal. Last year it was Tottenham. I think Tottenham are better than Arsenal. So 
I guess we have a shot at winning the Euro, Euro Cup. Let's first have a look at these match stats. Shots wise, okay, quite even. XG, we were more dangerous. Uh, although, they basically did what we did in the first leg, and that's have one clear cut chance and score even three times. Possession is quite even. Mm, I guess you could say it's a more even game, even. Wow. I guess you could say it's even a more even game bleh, than the first leg. So, 3 3, dressing room, more than outstretched arms. I am happy with how this tie went. We won the first leg. Well, it's true. If you win the away game, inspiration and motivation will follow. Interview. It was a difficult tie, but you managed to emerge a victorious on aggregate. How do you feel? Well, Mike, um, I am delighted that the team has managed to come through with this tie with the win. Substituting Fabrizio Lede when he was on a hat-trick raised some eyebrows today. Really? Come on, man. Um, yeah, it was really nothing. I am sure you can find more interesting questions for me. Bam, this interview just ended. Fan reactions. I love Fabrizio Lada. I know, Anna. Uh, Lada, you are something else. Please have a some sort of a rhyme in here, man. Mm, that would be a cool feature. Like rhyme with new gen names. Oh, ho, ho. I would love it. Gotta get a ticket for Ramon Sanchez Pigeon. I have no idea. That's probably the stadium. Yep. In Sevilla, we are playing the final against, I think, Arsenal. But let's have a look. Yes, sorry, Bob, we are facing Arsenal in the Euro Cup final in Sevilla on May 30th. Let's go to the schedule because that's probably the last game of the season. Yep, so that will be a separate episode. The Cup final before that will also be a, a separate episode. And next episode, guys, I am going to come back for the Dortmund game, which is <laughs> three game in game days. Because if my math is correct and for the love of God, let me know down in the comments if I'm missing something. But I guess if we win this game at home against Dortmund, we win the title. It is as simple as that, because that is our game in hand, basically. We are now six points ahead of Leipzig, who are on 32 games and only have two games left. So if we, even if we draw, I think we are crowned champions. Is it too simple? Let me know down in the comments. Either way, I'm liking this season. So guys, that was all for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave me a big thumbs up on the video. And if this is the kind of content you want to see more of, you know the drill. Subscribe to the channel, whack on that good old notification button, so we can keep doing these things together. I cannot thank you enough for watching. Let me know down in the comment section what your predictions are about this, the end of this season. Because as I said in the intro, and that is still very much true, we are still in the running for three trophies. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope to see you very soon.